Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Balefire Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and the Armory Group deploy. Our Army Groups are now deployed to their appropriate regions and are now awaiting further orders. Now, here we are. Uh, let's see. Army Group Center should, has, should spawn with 60 divisions. Army Group North should spawn with 61 divisions. So we'll see what happens. Let's stay put for now. In which we're already doing half. We're halfway done with our focus already for uh, Launch Operation Cauterize. And I will go ahead and like go over like one of the comments soon, but the time has come at last to reclaim the surface. The twisted creatures now, now occupied shall tremble for the might of the Grand Pegasus Enclave. So here we are. It's 1952. Like I said in the last video, I chose to basically wait almost an entire decade to do this. Uh, we're gonna have a guy stop training, which is totally fine. So we have three full armies of 24 com of infantry, three full armies, and we have another army with six divisions in it. We have a total of 34 20 combat with divisions, power armor divisions, with anti-tank and demo companies, just to make sure that we have even more breakthrough and soft attack. Each army is equipped with at least 50 balloons, which would be very nice. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm going to give extra balloons uh, to the power armor, and I'm going to keep one just so that I can manually control where I need to where it needs to go. And armor group center. Well, um, did I say? In the event that this would be cord, there it goes. Cool. And they only have two divisions. Um, I thought we were gonna start with sixty. <laughs> oh boy, but we're doing some tech as well. We're getting some more of this output, so that's really really good. So yeah, we're doing pretty well, I'd say. I waited this long to make sure that we could uh, do well against the Red Eyes Empire. No manpower. They have almost 800 factories. They all have, they have up to 186 divisions, mostly probably because they couldn't go scra scraping the barrel because the AI might be limited in terms of what mobilization they can do or conscription level they can do. So that's probably as high as they could go and gives that many divisions out. So we're also making some more, you know, power stations. And I was building a lot of forts. I've been building a lot of forts. Like you see, <laughs> I've been building forts all over the place just in case. And I also want to build a lot of uh, outposts too, but we'll see what happens, you know. You never know what might happen. So as you can tell, they've got a lot of divisions. I have my power armor station right here. And since we're going to go to war with everyone in the wasteland, this is how it's going to be done. But yeah. They're going to take our lines like crazy. We're going to attack them like crazy. We'll have to kill off a lot of these enemies. This is still not 60 divisions. I don't understand. Like, do they just funnel out every day or something? Because we get two more divisions for these guys every day, but they're like sending them to the other region or something. Now they have 18. Look at that. Now they have 20. So I, I don't understand what, what's going on. So we immediately got into war. And that's not bad. Alright, so I'm going to refund on the front line. And I'm going to have the power armor. I want them to attack as badly as possible. Oh, it's, oh, we're losing right there. That's not good. That's really, really, really not good. Power armor, you've got to go. And look how fast our energy cells get depleted by using power armor. Holy cow. We've killed off 42,000. Uh, and it gets... Look how, look how weak this is. This doesn't make any sense. This makes no sense. I gave them... You saw I gave them 60 divisions. Now these guys are probably only 6 combat with. Power armor is probably not that great. But regardless. Uh, let's see. Actually, the more speed, organization, and attack. We'll probably want to do that one. I want to just smash the living heck out of er out of the Empire's uh, divisions. They're nothing but savages and animals. We must push our soldiers to fight even harder and faster. The surface will be reclaimed by yet the end of the year. Well, I don't know about the end of the year, bam, but you guys got to help attack as well. Bodies coming home. The new clouds dug sky docks are more crowded than usual today as numerous families await the arrival of their loved ones. Word is coming that just a few short hours ago, a cloud ship was being sent back home, carrying the injured and dead alike. The crowd tense as a cloud ship flew into sight. While much of the crowd was about to be re reunited with their family, just as many were there to greet a, greet a corpse. Even those who would find their loved ones alive knew that they would be injured, maimed, and possibly even disabled. First off, the cloud ship were the injured, with those who could still walk leading the way. Many tears were shed, and many relieved greetings, exchanges, families found themselves reunited. Next were those who couldn't walk on their own, those too injured even to stand. Their own families greeted them with only slight hesitation, and they saw their sons and daughters in such a terrible state, finally they came the dead. Cats who carried by soldiers, brought down by those who had been the most quiet throughout all of this. <clears throat> their tears being shed by these families were certainly not ones of joy, and would continue to be shed for a while. The sight was enough to bring sadness to even those who had just found their loved ones returned to them. How is this fair? So many sons, daughters, brothers, and sisters dead. And for what? Land that none of them ever wanted to have seen? To defeat ponies that none of them have ever met? How many more lives would this war take until there are none left? 
Anger will become resentment. And this is what I was talking about in the last video. We have War Exhaustion. We get two a month, which, you know, that's 50 months. And we can also lower it temporarily, but that would increase War Exhaustion as well, which is not good. But we've got a lot of political power. And you might think it's crazy that I'm using infantry to attack right now, and it is. But they're out of manpower. We press every advantage we've got. We, we can't wait, because it's Army Group Center is collapsing. Army Group North is doing... Well, they're doing okay. Maybe not great. Well, maybe they're not doing great at all. So, um, we just gotta do what we gotta do. There's there's no stopping this crazy train. Especially as you saw what they were doing in the infantry. They already beat us back a little bit, so... They've got some picky pop balloons, which are very, very tough to beat. But, as long as we can continue to attack them, and they can't get enough manpower back into their divisions... That's got to be the goal. Oh my goodness, look at our manpower. We need more soldiers. How many men have we lost? <clears throat> We've lost 2,000 so far. That's nuts. We've killed all 36, 38,000, which is awesome. These guys are all encircled, which is really, really good. Kill them off, kill them off. We, we've got to move faster. I'm glad I made two power armor um, templates for this. Oh, gosh, I forgot to do this one, too. There we go, 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 go. Holy crap, we're getting so much more pony power. It's not even funny. Help them out, help them out. Kill their divisions off. But they have less than 100 divisions now, which is actually really good, but we still have to fight everyone else in the wasteland. Um, as you can tell, I mean, I've done a lot of technology. <laughs> I've done a lot of technology. It's already 52, so. Oh, oh, the north has fallen. The center's going to fall as well. Oh, that's not good. But this was not a bad idea for us waiting this long to do this. It's just... It's just been nuts. Annihilate Red Eye? Yes. Yes. Annihilate everything he's got. Defeating Manhattan? Shocking news reach New Clouds Joe today. Army Group North has been defeated. The surviving Marines have been abandoning their last surface positions yesterday evening and evacuated towards New Cloudsdale. This is a great blow to the war effort. Not only have many proud Pegasi lost their loved ones, but large amounts of equipment they had to be scuttled to prevent it from being falling into the hooves of the enemy. With Manhattan lost, the warfare is now exclusively focused on Navarro. We can only hope that our enemies in Manhattan won't use this time to prepare a counterattack as we are stretched thin as it is. More war exhaustion, and we get one more war exhaustion every month. Once more, we descend into war. <clears throat> the city of New Clasio is more active than ever. Recruitment officers fly back and forth across the city, calling for more volunteers for the war. Factories work overtime, pumping out weapons and armor that the Enclave desperately requires. Every citizen does their part working overtime and giving up their own comfort for the war. On the surface, the great city stands united. It works as one to bring about victory. However, the reality is much less than ideal. Workers grumble and complain within their factories. Families quietly question the war over the dinner table, and even the recruiters hesitate before convincing more Pegasus to fall out of their deaths. Once more, death comes to us. Alright, so we gotta finish these little enclaves off, even though we are the enclave, so. Kill every single one of them off. Good. And Steel Wing. Wow, you're level 4, huh? Nerd Rage would not be bad. But I'm gonna give him some more recon, because recon's, in my opinion, pretty good. So far, pretty good. This is going a lot better than the other two times I tried it, like, off screen, so. Actually, it's going a lot, lot better. Uh, Life Giver. I don't wanna lose as many ponies as we possibly can. Colonel Autumn. One of the comments was that Colonel Autumn, uh, he's Autumn Leaf, but Colonel Autumn's from Fallout 3, as we probably all remember. Um, Land attack, yeah. Sniper, division attack, defense, eh, why not. Green Lake, strong back, local leader. Uh, I guess we tried that just in case, but mm, not really too concerned about it. Go and take that out so no one else has to do with that. Good. Oh my goodness, this is looking. Okay, so how many divisions do I have left? They only have three, three divisions left, and they're pretty much all around here. Okay, so this is going so much better than I did previously. Holy cow. Alright, first one's done. All I have to do is wait a decade to be really, really successful. Then again, our pony power isn't looking great, so... We have 12 out of 100. That's still not bad. That's actually really not bad at all. And we have full energy cells. Look at that. How do we get full energy cells? Our army takes 917. Our air takes 21 for current consumption. Oh, we actually, look at that. We lost the power armor division. I think. Oh, that's not good. At this point, we've killed off so many enemies. we killed off 70,000 already. Both army groups, I think maybe the army groups might need to be looked at just a little bit again. It just, they, they're just so weak. They, they couldn't do anything. At this point, you know what? Uh, I want to kind of put both of you, like, together, but at this point, the infantry, I don't really trust the infantry doing too much. 
But they're still going to attack as well, just because they have planes on them too. So, alright, so I'm going to fly you guys up here, and you guys can come up to... Go to Boglands, why not? And do have a cup of coffee here too, to keep us nice and alert, somewhat. Fabrication foundries, pretty good. Trade, that's not enough. Never enough. Electrical extraction, let's grab some basic foundries, because we can. I think the war is pretty much won, even though manpower's not looking good, but well, it'll be alright. Especially with this extra attack that we've got against Red Eye Slaver Army or Empire. That's very good. Nice. Very good. Bog Hoppers. Nice stuff. What is that? Settle Pegasi? Oh, I didn't realize that. Huh. Wait, we had this decision this entire time? What does that do? We're going to remove establish a surface base where we will settle Eagle Pegasi to better control the land. Greatly increase the local manpower and compliance gain? Sure. Oh, we've got the political power for it. Why not? Can I spread that out to someone, some other provinces too? That'd be kind of nice. Oh, look at that. You guys are done? No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, you guys are coming back. How? You guys didn't collapse, huh? This is rare. I'm going to go ahead and increase this here too. Increase the ports. Oh, I can't build any radar. Get some planes over there too. That'd be alright. Soldiers, please. That's probably the most important thing that we can grab some more soldiers. We're on attack, we get more... This guy gives us less defense, but gives us more attack, which is good. Great push. After that, we will do a wartime draft for more pony power. It is the duty of every Pegasus to fight for the country. Pretty much. That's so sad that the North actually lost. Hi. Where are you guys at? Over here, there's like no one over here, so... I'm actually gonna shuffle you guys this way. Oh, the cathedral's Ooh, about to be ours. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we cut off. Well, they're up to 17 divisions again. 76,000 manpower is gone. Wasted. I'll be honest, by waiting a decade, this is so much better than trying it in like 1243. Like, it was so difficult, and there's nothing I could have done. Stable 101. Ah, oh, I love it. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Um, if you guys would like to finish this guy, these guys off, that'd be great. Because we only have so much time here. Like, quite literally, we still are on a time limit. We'll have them done, too, but... And I've already done all the support... Oh, well, a lot of the support stuff, so... Main companies, why not? Alright, so if you refuse to move, I'll move you myself. And Unity did collapse last time we were here, too, so. Halfway dead. We get three monthly war exhaustion. That's still not bad. If we ever reach 100 war exhaustion, our government will collapse. We're to, oh, link up with Army Group Center? Yeah. Oh, we can just straight up annex them? That's not bad. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Do we get their... Oh... Okay, so we got their divisions. Enclave Company, huh? Not bad. That's the one I set up, so there you go. PA Division. So, okay, so they eventually did get all the divisions they made. They're only 10 combat width. It's not really ideal. It's kind of the watered down version. And these guys are 10 combat width as well. That's better than I thought what they would have, so. Um, I'll, I'm going to get rid of two. Because we saved that pony power. I'll put you both under someone else, and I want to save some of this armor, so one, two, well, one, two, three, four. There you go. Just because, I mean, they can still help take out territory. They're not going to be super great soldiers. I mean, they're not bad, but these guys are still infantry, so we got to remember that. Red Eyes Factories, eh? At least we linked up with them. That's nice. Butterhoof. Thank you. Got one more too. Soft days and was it better blossom, butter blossom, butter blossom. The negotiator. Well, we're not gonna have any of that. Get some recovery rate, as well as just made a hacker. Just attack harder, harder, harder. Soft days, you're a and you're gonna be ninja because you're infantry. Get even more attack. And then you guys, butter hoof, inspirational, and even more attack. There you go. Nice. Now we're out of pony power. Well, maybe that's not good then. 
Right, so let these guys take this this group out first. Get the power armor up here, and I'll probably just delete the divisions. There you go. Save some pony power. Good stuff. Do we get this as a core? No, we don't. That sucks. I just want more pony power, man. There we go. Nice. Yeah, there goes Red Eye. Nice. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely illustrious. So you guys are up here. You're going to finish those guys off. You guys are over... Actually, you're already all the way over here. That's not bad. Thank you for playing infantry. Sorry, soft days, but we need that... Wow, that's, that's actually a pretty good amount of pony power. Wait, we don't have a war goal for these guys yet? Um, I thought we had to go to war with everyone we were down here with. Well, it'll only take 10 days. Factory-wise, I think we've got enough resources that I don't feel bad about doing this stuff. There you go. Oh, almost 13,000 pieces of armor. Not bad. That armor's not bad, but wow. We just lost half of all of our pony power. Wowzers. Oh, form of the Commissariat? Oh. Wasteland is vast and hostile. I wish to rule such a large area filled with ponies that despise us. We will have to delegate some authority to local collaborators. All that land is of no immediate value for farming or has a large amount of hostile natives will be put into a special administrative zone. Not bad. Actually, if you guys could come over here, that'd be great. I'd rather send my power armor this way. You guys are doing well, but you 11 divisions. Uh, you're actually doing well as well. You get, Oh, you guys are over. Yeah. I, I'd rather finish this up a little bit faster, so you guys come over here then. And have at the... And actually, since I'm going to... Can I convert you to... No, I cannot. How about half you guys? Can I convert them? No, I can't. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be kind of cool if we could, though. The passive resistance. After the beginning of the last service liberation program, we found an unexpected production decrease in our defense industry and weather factories. We first suspected sabotage. However, inspections by our intelligence agencies did not reveal any abnormal violations, and those breaches of standard labor practice were discovered that could not possibly be responsible for industrial problems. However, as a result, our intelligence discovered an extremely strange form of protest, extremely strict fulfillment of the duties and strict observance of the rules, and this led to a significant decrease in production, since many, often many of our work ethic rules con often contradict each other. Several large pacifist organizations also call for a boycott of the products from companies which are associated with their military. The main problem is that officially our citizens do not violate any of the existing laws, however. Our domestic security agency continues to monitor the situation, keeping an eye on the traders. Lowering war exhaustion won't remove the spirit, the ponies have already crossed the threshold. Pass resistance, we lose stability, war support, and factory output. Why would you do that? We literally just won against the biggest enemy here. That doesn't make any sense. Why? I'm just waiting for them to take one of these tiles so that they can leak up and we can make one bigger tile. There we go. One bigger front line. Nice. There you go. go ahead. I still have more than enough energy. I love it. Where are you guys at? We gotta take these guys out too, so. Um there oh you're you're getting up here. Good. That's fine. Wow. We just if you look at the energy right before I, this peace deal, it was like zero and then it just came all the way back up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, you guys are done too. Oh, that's the group we just killed off. Nice. You guys help them out up here too. That's fine. And then we gotta search. It's fine on these guys. I'll probably use the power armor for these guys too. We could do this. I will do all this stuff once we are done with the war though. Alright, so with these guys, what's going on? Oh, I mean, that's us, but. Empire, 2 to 3,000 manpower. A lot of divisions actually. Quite a few. Nice. Actually, where are you guys? You're all up there. We could do that. I'm going to save my power more for that stuff. I'll let the infantry do this down here, maybe. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Works out kind of well with that small area, too. And you guys, you can actually go right there, then. Nice. Great push. Well, we, know, we don't need the great push. we got the wartime draft. We're going to get some local recruitment collaborators, since some of the savages are willing to buy up for us in exchange of our favor. Though this, they are nowhere near as effective as a proper pegasus, they could be put to good use regardless. Look at all that. Look at the energy cells. Crazy. Oh, we started losing a few divisions here. Oh! 
You guys got ins what the heck? Get to Arbu. And get the heck out of there. <laughs> These are a bunch of crazies. What? Why did they go all the way up there? I I don't tell them to like go that way. <gasps> oh my goodness! If that's the case, we have that army doing that over there. I want you guys to come over here too. Oh, you guys... Don't get over there. There you go. New dog Lantis, huh? Outpost Crystallia. Cool. Let's grab some more research, because we can. Logistics, because we can. And I'm completely out of... Oh, crap. That's not good. Even using 10 combo with power armor divisions... Still not bad. Look at that. Beautiful. Chug them up. If we're fast enough, we can get to there. Don't let them get any of their victory points back. There we go. Nice. God, I love power armor so much. Makes me so happy. And roads down here are really god-awful. Oh, there's so much resistance. That's what's up. You get a war with these guys yet or not? No, we didn't even search this fine. What the heck? It only takes 10 days, but alright, whatever. Wait, where are you guys? Oh, you guys are these, these dudes. It's fine, it's fine. Autumn Leaf, you've done a great job. He's done a really great job. Oh, Arbu's gone. I could give it to the Army Group North, but now nah, we're good. Link up. Thank you. They have no divisions, but whatever. Can I just... Some of you guys do that? Maybe? Nice. Take these guys out. More divisions? Nope. Goodbye. Do we win? Hopefully. Logistics 1. Doesn't really matter at this point. Recon 1. Why not? More resistance. Probably not enough guns. Uh, let's grab some basic wall pumps, if we can. What are we missing here? Armor? Oh, dogs. Oh, that's, that's a little different. I wasn't expecting dogs to be too needed, but okay. Alright. Friendship City, huh? So be it. Domestic propaganda. We're only 39 out of 100. Not bad. Verification factories. Let's grab some more. Because we can. Word Soof is gone. You have some time for this. Kill them off. Basic foundries. Cool. Advanced foundries. Cool. How's this looking over here? That's looking not too bad. Ah, Friendship City. And then these guys will fall too. Maintenance street. Find a valley. Is that it? I think that's it. Awesome. That's actually, yeah, I just have to wait an entire decade to get to this point. Alright, so let's go ahead and do all this stuff. The wasteland is best and hostile. It wish to rule such a large area filled with polynomies that despise us. We will have to delegate some authority to the local collaborators. I think I already read this, so. East Coast Protectorate. Settlement area Appaloosa. Philadelphia Commissariat. Which is over here. And we'll look at each one of these once we're done, too, so. Cool. From the Azura Commissariat as well, down here. Ah. And Manhattan. I almost said Muscovine, but. Alright, cool. So, Azuria, look interesting. I like the hoof and the E. I like that a lot. Sweep the Midlands. Do they. Oh, that's still the NCR's focus tree. That's kind of cool. Settlement area Appaloosa, a healthy army. So they sell their focus tree, and they're led by Candy, led by Marshal Steelwall, Canterlot Administration, led by oh, Overmayor Emerald Vale. Hmm. Interesting. So we got those groups, and then we have these over here. Phil oh, Elder Nova Rage, huh? Second request. East Coast Protector. Who is that? Crimson Waters? Whoa. And then we have Commissariat Manhattan. 
which I gotta play sometime. The MAS Mystery Hub, so cool. I'm not sure there's anything else. I mean, yeah, we have our own focuses, the Taste of Victory. So, uh, if you want to read about this, I guess we will. A wiry Stanley made himself presentable at Autumn's office door. Of course, he had to draw the short straw from the high command and had to inform Autumn of both the good and the bad news. He never dealt with the stallion personally, but now he had to take a few deep breaths and knock knock. Autumn, sir, M Major Sparks reporting. Come in, Major, have a seat. Wild Pegasus, the friendly southern voice echoed from behind his desk. No, thanks, sir. I have news for you. And at Autumn's direction, the stallion sat on the other side of the desk, watching his commander in chief adjust some pens and place down a single black blank piece of paper in front of himself. News for me, Major? Well, by all means, go ahead. That was all the permission that the mayor needed, letting Bertha carefully practice spiel exit his mouth. He spoke quite quickly and nervously, as if worried that he'd be stopped before he finished. Autumn, sir, I've just received word that the last open resistance in the Heartlands has been ceased, and the commanders in the area are calling up. That is over. That cauterize is over. A faint smile touched the commander's lips, and so did the rim of the glass he, as he sipped the finest whiskey the Enclave had offered him. Good to hear, Major. I just that the general populace has not been officially informed. What well, is the problem, sir? A problem has gone down the pop pipeline that the operations have concluded. Civilians are clamoring for a lifting of wartime restrictions and return to, s to standard operating procedure regarding elections. Autumn paused mid pull, tilting his head to steer at the unfortunate Major. I believe I misheard you, Major. What might the future hold? Regretfully, sir, you didn't. The, the Major wince, fearing for his job by the sun and the stars. Please don't be angry. <laughs> Autumn spoke gently, yet firmly. Speaking with the authority of a, a stallion who had commanded not just squads, but platoons, companies, and most importantly, entire armies, or at least what passed for armies in the post-war. Major, let me correct you on a few facets of information. First of all, God your eyes is not finished. In fact, I say the first phase is only just concluded. As far as we are concerned, we are still at war with those who seek to destroy our Equestria. Save a temporary local government and inform garrisons that this war is not over. Not until every last bit of resistance is burnt from the lands. Yes, sir, but if I may, the Major gulped as he was, was he asking too much, maybe? Go ahead, Major. What do I inform High Command and the civilians? The truth, Major, for the time being, we are still in a state of war, as no formal surrender has been provided. Any form of rebellion from the civilians is to be treated as, as such, a rebellion. You and I both know what happens to rebels and traitors, yes, sir. And with that, the Major rose, saluted Autumn, who even returned the salute respectfully, and made his way out. And time will succeed, but our work in the West End isn't nearly done. In the future, this event will load in more of the focus tree and unlock more options for the Enclave. This will be implemented once more of the map is available to do so. Oh, that's interesting. So, let's go ahead and read this. Build the swamp. Swampland surrounding Navarro will be cleaned. The bogs will be drained. The streets will be burned. And the land will be cleared to allow for the construction of new factories to support efforts and salvage destroyed power armor. Waste not, want not. Any sort of power armor that's damaged over the course of the world will be savage to the best of our abilities to create a still functioning piece of equipment. But I think that's pretty much it. Wow. Navarro was very interesting and fun to play as. I mean, I didn't want to wait. Literally, I was literally here just sitting here for like half an hour to an hour just... Letting time go on and clicking on getting more divisions, more soldiers, and such like that. But hey, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, look at all the resistance going up higher and higher and higher. Wow, there's a lot of resistance. And I had to do Enclave Atlanta Appropriation just because we, that's the only way we can get more compliance. So, regardless, that's the end of the campaign. That's the end. So, if you enjoyed the. Oh, we still have War Exhaustion. Um. Well, technically, like what the guy said, Autumn, Autumn Leaf. We were still technically at war, so... Uh, but I think that's pretty much where we're going to have to end this campaign. But if you enjoyed it, hey, seriously consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.